So anyways, we probably reached, I don't know if it's midday because we've been here since uh, early morning and uh, probably gonna go take a break and then come back. But uh, so, uh, I'm gonna swing for a little longer. 11.07. 11.07, not bad. Well, we'll swing for another half hour, see if we can get some more in before yeah. we go for a break for lunch. Yeah, sounds go, good. Go get some food and uh, come back and see what else we can come up with. But this field is very productive today. It really is. It's, yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. We're well, having a good time. Yeah, we definitely are. Uh, you, you can swing like 10, 15 minutes and not get many signals, and all of a sudden you get into an area, you start getting yeah, ding, sure ding, ding. Yeah, that happened to me right. yesterday, and that yeah. uh, happened to you today. Right yeah, and they're pretty widespread. I mean, you're getting coins that are... 100 feet off the mound and even yeah. further and then you get some that are really close so you can spread out a bit there's a lot of detecting still left to do it oh yeah oh yeah right. for sure and then once he plows it over there'll be uh there'll hopefully be some more uh new 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 stuff that ends up popping up next year when he uh yeah. hopefully when yeah. he turns and the, the barn is over that way we haven't even done that yet so yeah so, we're yeah. hoping endless possibilities you got it. fingers crossed good stuff <laughs> We mentioned earlier that this area should have certain certain types of uh, uh, relics because it's a home site. And the one that we did mention was toe guards and or heel plates. And I have a I did find a toe guard. Yep. And, so. and it looks like it's in uh, fair nick, right? Yeah, straightened it out a little bit, but it's, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, definitely toe guard. So at least we found one. So now yes. we know there's got to be more. And then I ended up with this. I think it's made out of copper and it's gold gilded. And see, point out the yeah, that's really nice. That's nice. Yeah. So it has yeah. a pattern on the front and uh, on the back it has some gold gilding in there. Almost the gold that I was hoping for, but right. <laughs> not quite. Not in the form of a coin, <laughs> but yeah. I like it. I wonder if it's a cover for a watch. You know, flip over, covers up your watch. It could be. Right, a watch cover. I don't know. We'll do yeah. some research and see if I can actually find out what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Kind of cool. That is. That's two more relics. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Yeah, for sure. So anyways, I uh, got a target and it was so deep and it was so faint that I wasn't uh, expecting it to be a coin. Um, so I didn't uh, roll the camera. But anyways, I already pulled it out and as you can see, look at the size of this mess that I made. <laughs> like it's inside of a burn field. Uh -huh. But uh, as you can see here, look. Whoa. Check it out. You can actually see the coin in the mud, in the clump of, clump of mud. And it looks like a pretty thick one. So yeah, that's kind of a, it's kind of neat when you pull them out like this. Pretty exciting. So let's uh, let's pull this out together and see what it is. Oh, she's a, she's a chunky little coin. So being a chunky little coin like this, I'm probably not familiar with this one. Guaranteed, I'm not familiar with this. Oh, I changed my mind. Guaranteed it's a coin that I know. I do know what it is. It's pretty chunky. It's a half penny. It's one of those half penny uh, Bank of Montreal tokens, I think. Half penny token with the, uh, this one's got the horse on the back, so it's probably 1854. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what it is. 1854. Another beautiful coin. Okay, so not more than uh, 10 feet from my last one, which was over there. I swung over here and I got myself a nice signal. I don't know if you can see it. Look at that. It's right in the uh, right in the deep plug that I pulled out. So let's pull this one out. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Boy, somebody had a horse of a good time that day because they lost two of them. Another one. It's another one of the same token that I just dug up. Half penny token again. Wow. And if it's the horse one, it's usually the 1854. Well, this one's an 1850, dead on. Cool. Yeah, 1850. So I got the 1850 with the horse. And on the other side. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's the same. It's got the crown and the anchor, uh, the crown with the anchor. So, same type of design, uh, 1850 token. Oh my God! All right. What I'm doing, I'm looking at Ted. He's only about 20 feet away from me. He pulled out something that Judy really wants to find. And uh, so I'm going to have to scurry over there and see what that is. So give me a second. Ah, see what's worn? No, it's this. It's someone just shot a deer. Uh, this is not a weird one. Ted, Ted's probably never seen one of these before. Um, I don't think it's a key that goes in the door. I think it's a, I think it's a uh, clock winder. It's missing the little thing on the top. Right. But that's that's a clock. I think that's a clock winder. Oh, okay. But see, yeah, Judy's see found one just like it. Tapered. It's tapered. Yeah. yeah. But it yeah. doesn't look like anything necessarily is. Um. Uh, when we get in, when we get back to the vehicle, I'll show Ted because it's still in there from the one that Judy found, and that's pretty much what that is. Right. Oh, cool. So yeah, definitely. I mean, look at the, the look at the little. Is there a design on there as well? Uh, it appears that way, but I don't yeah. know if it's just. Tractor marks. <laughs> <laughs> but another nice yeah. piece of uh, brass, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And there's my token. Oh, the nice. second one. Oh, that's lovely. Wow. Oh. So we're doing really good here today. What is this? It's a half penny. From, like From Canada. A... Same, it's, not, it's wow. from upper, upper Canada. Oh, right. just this looks different. Oh, no, see, well, it's got the crown. Yeah. And it's got the, the swords. Right? Two swords. Oh, crossing. yeah, yeah. And then the horse. Right? 1850. Yeah, yeah. And the other one was 1854, right? Right. So cool, uh, man. Cool, yeah. We're doing really good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. having fun. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay, Mister, what do you got now? As you well, didn't call me over as usual. Another, another coin, but it didn't sound that great. I'll be honest with you. Okay, so let's see if I can identify it. Oh, you can. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, you're going to be able to. Oh, it's got the line on the bottom. 18, 1819. 1819. That's it's a British one. That's Britannia. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. 1819. So you got an 1820, 1819. Yeah. And there's King George on the back. Look at how nice that yeah, is. I know. Nice. See, the, see the bust? Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, yeah. I mean, it could be King George. This garland mm -hmm. is like in perfect shape. Yeah, it's a beauty. Eh? Yeah. Nice going, man. Thanks. I was. I didn't think it was going to be a coin. I really didn't. It was a weird signal. And of course, I yell over and wait for me, but he didn't. <laughs> oh boy. What are you going to do? Beautiful. All right, so this target, I uh, flipped it over already, and I, you can, uh, as you can see, it's a uh, chrono bell. Check this out. That's a nice uh, chrono bell, and it, uh, this one, this one actually looks like it's intact. Ha! Perfect. Gotta love that. Awesome. Let's see if I can get any detail off of it. Yeah, it's got a pattern on it. That's kind of neat. The one I found yesterday was uh, the same size, but it was not intact. So it's probably the same uh, off of the same uh, sleigh. There you go. Nice. Beautiful. Love finding quarter bells. Happy about that one. Okay, so what do you got there? I can see the, uh, definitely see the hole. I have a uh, large American cent. It's 1818. And it's really quite interesting because you can, on their headband, uh, you can read, it says Liberty. So you I can, can still, still read I, I can, that. We can still make out the Liberty right on the headband. And the coin is not in fantastic shape. No, it's... Uh, it's 
pretty warm. Yeah, but it's really, really warm. But yeah. They must have struck these very hard to see a Liberty. Out of all that detail, you still see the yeah. Liberty. Yeah, and her head, like the bust of her head, yeah. is. Uh, so 1818. I'm not sure, but I, I'm not sure if it's a matron head, because the matrons were the older, were the older ones. I mean, it might be before matron. I'm not 100 percent sure. I know it's not the, uh, um, not earlier in 18. I mean, uh, 1797. So. Yeah, that's cool. Man. Yeah, that's a good find. Thanks. Yeah. The last find before we go eat some lunch. Yay. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> All right. Let's go eat so some we... lunch. Okay, so we just uh, got back from lunch. We've been swinging for about 15 minutes. I'll show you what I got before before I got this target. I dug up this big thing here with a hook on it. I've, I've dug these up before. I'm not really sure what these are. I'm going to leave this up to the uh, audience, which is you guys, to make a comment and tell me what this is. I'm not going to research it. So I want to hear it in your comments of what you think this is. Um, and uh, we'll get a determination that way instead of me looking it up online and seeing what it is but uh, if any of you are out there are farmers you're gonna know what this is so please let me know um, it's kind of interesting it's made of iron of course but uh, yeah on this one on the other hand as you can see there's a plug already that was dug out here um, I don't want to blame anybody for missing a target because it wasn't my plug <laughs> it's like you've never done that before <laughs> Anywho, uh, there's a big coin in the hole, and you can see it right there, and it's it's laying on its side. So let's pull it out and see what it is. Look at that. And judging by the size, it looks like another one of those uh, penny tokens, full-size penny tokens. And yeah, that's what it, that's exactly what it is. Wow. Coin. <laughs> All right, hold on. I left that coin there because I had to come and dig this coin up. I think I missed you, I missed your birthday, so yeah, that's... happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. So, anyways, I got a uh, another horsey one, big horsey, 1854. Oh, cool, nice 1854 token. Uh, love it. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna have to go over and see what Ted's got. Well, okay, mister, what do you got? I don't know. It's right <laughs> here in the sidewall. You know, you should wait until I finish filming my scenes before you even get a coin. Like, well, this you, is getting well, a little made tiresome. That, you made that comment about me missing it, so I figured... <laughs> so I figured you had a... a appropriate time to interrupt you and... With another coin. With another coin. Oh, it's uh, What did you get there? I got a large, one, I mean, a one penny token. The big one. What'd you get? Is it the half penny? It's a half penny. Wow, they lost a lot of those around here. Yeah. Darn. And it's the... Uh... One of the horse? No, it's, a, it's the building, one dimensional. It's the building. Bank of Montreal. The one dimensional Bank of Montreal. Boo hiss, so oh well. I'm so sad that it's just a, just a one dimensional Bank of Montreal. No, it's... Is it two dimensional? No, well it's... Too, but it's... Is it face on? There's yeah, no, yeah, it is. You can't yeah, yeah. see the side of the building. No, no, no. So it's a 1D. Yeah. It's a 1D, Bank of Montreal. Took a nice one, Ted, as we just enough. missed the coin over there, and I got a coin beside your phone. 1840. Uh, 1844. They only made them certain years, that's why I know these. Right? It's an 1844 hat. They didn't make them like 1845, 46, right. 47. Yeah, I guess it's a little... With a little scrubbing, I can see. It's 1844. Yeah, 1844. Nice going! Thank you. <laughs> that's a good That's a good comeback from lunch, eh? Yeah, it is, actually. Yeah, I've been here a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of got resuited up because yep. it's cold. Yep, colder. And that one, yeah, colder. And that was that. All right, nice going, mister. Thank you. All right, on to the next one, so. Bad just Thank you. There it is. Uh, might be a design on there, but then I seen it sitting right there on the surface, just like you see it. So I'm sure it's probably like a bent coin. It wasn't giving me a great signal, and uh, you can see why. It's actually pretty deep. 
you can actually see the coin right here. And look at that. I'm kind of all over the place, but. Oh man, another big one. Wow, look at that, eh? Yeah, that turned quick. Okay, so I just dug this one uh, up, not knowing it was going to be a coin. It was, it was probably on edge, so it wasn't very loud. And as I did that, there you go. Ted's got a good signal right there. I found. I got a good signal. Uh, might be a yeah. uh, large token. Not sure. I'm going to put my coin down right here, and I'm going to go over. To, I'm going to go over to him. All right. So now I'm coming up to you. What do you got? I'll tell you what I got. Oh, dude. Oh, no. It's a. Uh... Freaking. I have to edit that out. Why? Freaking fantastic. <laughs> got a hole in there. Wow, another one with a hole in it. Yeah. Ah. Wow, man. This is great. As you can tell, I'm having a lot of fun today. It's uh, nice to get out. The situation here is beautiful. I mean, it's. So easy to dig, so easy to walk on. You know, it's not a lot of times we come out to farm fields that we have this easy of a time. Plus, digging up as many things that we are digging up—it's very enjoyable. Love it.